guys, so today I thought I would go ahead and show you guys my morning routine, morning makeup routine, kind of what I do for my daily makeup look. I'm not really like any makeup professional, I'm kind of just amateur and I like, I enjoy putting makeup on my face. So if you guys are into that, then go ahead and keep watching because I am just gonna go through what I put on my face every day. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy! <laughs> okay, so I've already put my primer on for today. I use the Benefit Poreless or Professional <laughs> Primer. I just use the little mini travel size because a little bit goes a long way, so I really only need like a pea size on my fingertips and I just put it in the spots that need pore erasing. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna go ahead right in with foundation. So I'm using my Japanesque one that I just bought. I do two pumps because not a lot comes out. Oh, I didn't think about how hard this is going to be to hold a mirror up while I put foundation on. But I guess I can just do this part really quick without a mirror. Get it all off my hand and then I can look at a mirror and not worry about the foundation falling off my hand. And I'm going to blend it in with just a Real Technique sponge. This looks like it's blended quite nicely. So I'm gonna go with that and next up. I just use the lasting perfection concealer from Collection. I'm gonna put it under my eyes and on my nose so. Gosh holding a mirror right here is like a serious arm workout And then after that I'm just gonna go ahead and set the concealer under my eyes so it doesn't like crease and stuff I'm just gonna use my bare minerals pro bare pro powder all right, and next up, I'm gonna prime my brows. It's not really a brow primer, it's just the Waterproof Ulta Brow Gel. Honestly, it keeps my eyebrows in place all day long and the color from my brow product doesn't ever fade when I use it. I just kinda like paint these on and let it sit for a bit and then I'll brush it through with my Anastasia brush before I start doing the brows. And like this brush isn't anything fancy, it's not like a little like bristle brush, but honestly if you brush it through with this in just a few minutes it's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna comb through that and now I will start my brows. It's taken me like 10 minutes to do my eyebrows before. I'm like, I take a really long time to do them so I'm really sorry, but I'm just gonna time lapse this all so you don't have to worry about watching way too much footage of me doing my eyebrows. One brow is done. So now on to the next one. I have to like constantly remind myself that like your brows aren't always gonna turn out the same. And there's that saying that's like, brows are sisters, not twins. And I have to like tell myself that every once in a while because I get way too like obsessed with having my eyebrows exactly the same. And I know that sometimes they're not always gonna turn out like that. So I just have to like take a breath and like take a step back and be like, whoa, chill out. It's gonna be fine. They're gonna still look wild. Usually once I get the first eyebrow done, the second eyebrow usually is a lot quicker to do. So I don't think this one's going to take me. Actually, I know it's not because I'm like basically almost done. Gotta make the first brow look good so then I have something to mirror off of. Okay. Also, I'm using the my Anastasia Anastasia brow pomade and then the brush. It's like the number 12 or number 18 brush. I think brows are good for now. And next, we're on to eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and prime it with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. It's just one that came with one of my palettes. But that's it. I'm going to use my Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette and I'm not going to show it to you because I've already showed it in one of my favorites videos but also one of the shades is like busted and it, I've like tried resetting it hundreds of times and it just keeps breaking. Basically I'm just never ever going to use it. Thank god it's not any color I really like, it's just the black one. I'm using the In The Buff shade, it's like a basically a white and I'm just going to put that under my brow bone. And next up, I'm gonna go with the sugar sugar balls. Oh, okay, I'll try and show it to you. It's like this one right here. It's really pretty pinky, shimmery color, pinky purple, gray color. I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. 
I don't ever really get super creative with my eyeshadow, but I guess this is just an everyday look too. And honestly, I need to get some new brushes and I need to like up my eyeshadow game. It'll come eventually when I have more free time and when I have more money to invest in like better brushes and stuff. This is a pretty good brush, but it's really, really tiny. It's the It Cosmetics and it is the number 220 small shadow brush. And I should have bought a small one and a big one, but I only did the small one. And I probably would have benefited more with the bigger one because it can get hard to blend with this little guy. Next up, I'm gonna go with my Lorac Pro 3 palette. And this one is gorgeous. None of the colors are broken, so I can show it to you guys. And I kind of switch off between what colors I want to use for my outer crease and like my inner crease and stuff. But I think I'm going to go with Amethyst, which is this really pretty like magenta pink color. And this is just going in like the outer corner, outer crease of my eye. It's just really hard for me to like get my eyeshadow to look nice. Like getting that little, like, little angle outside. Like how do people do that? Like I've heard like of hacks of like using toilet paper or tape, but like I see people, so many people just like freehand it. And that also could have to do with the fact that I don't have like the greatest brushes. I feel like the rest of it looks really good. It's just like these parts. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go in with the cool taupe color. And I'm just gonna put that on my crease just to kind of darken it up. More so the middle and the inner parts of it because the outer one's already done with the pink one. And then I'm gonna take my almond pearl shade, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna put it on like the inner corners. I think that's all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow. Like I said, I don't really know a lot of ways to do my eyeshadow or be creative with it. So I'm just gonna go with something basic and next up is my mascara. I'm not gonna do eyeliner because whenever I feel like it, I'll do eyeliner and I'll probably mess it up a lot. So I'm just gonna go in with my mascara, which is the Better Than Sex. It's like a weird bird tripping outside. I'll do one more coat. Get them volum voluptuous lashes. Okay, I think that's gonna be good for mascara. I need to make sure that this is still recording because I'm a little bit worried. I can't wait to get a new camera because this is just not super great to record on because it's there's no viewfinder, flippy viewfinder, and so I don't know if it's recording or not. Hopefully nothing got cut out of there. Mascara's done, so that means I'm onto my face powder. And I'm using my Bare Pro stuff. And then a giant, the number one Heavenly Deluxe Airbrush Powder and Bronzer Brush from IT Cosmetics. Powder's done. I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer on just to kind of give me a little bit of a glow. I need to test out some new bronzers because I love the bronzer that I have, but I feel like I'm just really pale and this is a very warm bronzer and I feel like I need a cooler bronzer. Let's see, I have the Too Faced Bronze, Baked Bronze one. I think I might try the chocolate, the light chocolate Soleil one. It's such a light shade, it might match better with my skin because I have to like blend this into my neck. Bronza is good. Now I'm gonna contour. I also need to try a new contouring shade, which is probably just gonna be the Soleil from Too Faced. I have the Lorac Pro contour palette, but the colors, most of the colors I don't use them because I'm pretty pale. I actually have to mix the beige highlight one and the light contour together to get an even like lighter shade because I'm literally so pale. So I'm gonna go ahead, dab that beige highlight with the light contour and I'm using just a Real Techniques brush. It's just called the Sculpting Brush. Okay, that's a bit dark. Blend that in around my face. I don't like to do too much contour either because it just gets to be way too easily noticeable because I'm so pale. So I don't want to like do too much. I just have like this blotch of like tan on my face. I'm gonna go with that. I'm going to blend it out a bit so it's not so obvious. And next up, I'm gonna go with my blush, and I have the Too Faced Candy Glow. I just love the little heart-shaped designs. I think they're adorable. And then I'm using my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe French Boutique Blush. Blush, okay, I thought I read that wrong. It was brush, but it's actually blush, and it's the number four. I think this is probably good enough. 
and then I'll go ahead and blend that in a bit too. That's all blended out. And lastly is my highlighter, and I'm using my brand new ColourPop one. The consistency is actually a little bit off-putting. Like I love the shade and I love how it looks on my skin, but the consistency, it's like a cream almost. And sometimes I feel like it takes off all the makeup underneath that, so I'm just gonna dab it lightly so that I don't <laughs> remove what's underneath of that. Especially the nose, like it comes off the quickest on the nose, or it takes off the other makeup. And that could also just be maybe the foundation doesn't stay on well, even though it's like the perfect shade for me, but whatever. Guess I'll just have to try out a bunch of new products. I don't know how much you can see of this. It looks pretty highlighted in, in my mirror, but in the camera it's probably not as great. And then the app as well, I need to put it underneath my brow bone, my eyeshadow. Okay, shoot, I need a lip color. Oh, I even thought about that before I started filming and I didn't even grab one, so let me go get one real quick. All right, got me a lip color. I'm gonna use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I really like this shade and it's kind of just a nice everyday sort of makeup look. And then I have the NYX Lip Liner in Prune. I kind of like to blend the two together just cause this is kind of a lighter shade on my face. So I gotta darken up my liner. So I guess I'll put the liner on first. Let me go with that. So we are finished with my sort of everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I know it's not really like a professional makeup video or anything. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I did to my face every morning and thought that maybe you guys would like to see it. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. I got a lot of fun stuff lined up for everyone. So stick around. Love you guys. Bye.